Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, people. Are you in your house already? Ya en casa? Or are you still in your, in your work? In my house. Ah, you're in your house already? Yes. I mean, that's cool, that's cool. How was, how was today? Very fine. Very good? Wasn't it, a, an, wasn't it an stressing day today? Stressing and with, um, with, I almost did it in bed. The traffic. Ah, with the traffic jam. Yes. yes, really. That's like always, right? Like it, it happens like most of the time. Yeah, the traffic as always. Especially that yeah. one from, from, you know, like from San Salvador in the, in, in the surroundings in this area. I mean, the traffic all the time is like horrible, right? Yes, right. Oh. I can't tell. But anyways, that's part of their daily, daily our daily rice, right? Uh, cool. Let me see. So who's, who's, who's another one connected? Let me see. I have very, very few connected. Are you six? Okay, so good evening for the ones who are Hi, here. Hi, Jonathan. Good evening. So we're going to continue with the things that we were practicing yesterday. Uh, today, we're going to change from topic. Uh, good evening, Mr. Now the topic that we're gonna be discussing is gonna be a little bit different in comparison to the, the one that we were practicing last class. So we're going to start with those things, right? But before starting with those things, I'm gonna pass the attendance list because it's 8.02 already. So give me one second. Carlos Mauricio, is it here? Not right, okay. Cindy Melanie? Nani de Cindy? Elvi Quintanilla? Oh, she, she, she has some issues. Stephanie Michelle? Michelle, are you there? Okay, she's there, but she's she's frozen. Okay. Hola. Yeah, I mean, I listen to you. Okay, aquí estoy. Okay. No me funcionaba. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, cool. Gustavo, no, he's no longer presenting. Ivania Yamilet. Present teacher. Ah, okay, cool. Let's move on uh, Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Mm, okay, nice. Uh, let's see, Jose Antonio. I guess he's not here yet. Jose Edgar. I guess he's there, but he's, he's on the way home, I guess. Juan Emanuel. Juan Emanuel. No, okay. Juan Gilberto. Neither Gilberto. Okay, cool. Let's see, Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Okay. How do you feel today, man? Better? Regular? Ya, ¿Ya mejor? Ya, un poco. Mejorcito que ayer. Okay, man. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Julio Cesar. No, here. Okay, let's move. Uh, Karen Beatriz. <coughs> okay, no here. Luis Gerardo. Okay, no Luis. Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Wendy Jamilet. 
No, okay, not here. Let's move William Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. No, okay, excellent. Let's move Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Carlos Jose. I'm here, teacher present. Okay, nice. And the last one, Soy la Guadalupe. And teacher. Okay, nice. So as I as I told you guys, we're going to start with a new topic. Okay, it's gonna be like a little bit different in comparison to the one that we were practicing yesterday. Now it's a new one. But before starting the new topic, let's just start with a short feedback. You know, like to bring up what were we discussing yesterday. So can somebody tell me what was the topic from yesterday? What were we doing yesterday? Any volunteer that tells me what were do we doing yesterday? Any volunteer? Algún voluntario? Sobre qué estuvimos hablando ayer? What was the main topic? Sobre el how to use would like to. Would like to. No, okay. Like how to. to use would like to. Okay. También question using. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Question using would like, would like to. Okay, very good. ¿Cuáles eran, el, ¿Cuáles eran los usos principales de would like to? Can somebody tell me that? Okay, perdón. Los usos. ¿Cómo lo usamos? ¿En qué momento? Uh, ¿O para qué lo usamos? Para reportar un problema, creo que era. Mm, to report a problem? Ok, in, that, in a way, yeah, I mean, we can use it to report a problem, right? But what else? What other ways can we use would like to? Para solicitar algo. Ah, ok, to make a formal request, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, to make an offer and to make a request. So those are the ways how we use would like to, especially, right? Those are like the ones that we were, you know, like, like, like doing the most, if you remember. Okay. So <coughs> that's, that's one of the things that we were practicing. Okay, perfect. Um, in questions, what's mostly the type of questions that we use? Can we ask just no questions we would like to? Podemos hacer just no questions usando would like to? Yes. Nah, okay. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Jorge, can you give me an example of a sentence or of a yes, no question in this case using would like to? Yes, no question. Okay. Yes. A yes, no question. Um, example. She would like to practice English. Ah, but that's a positive statement. Esa es una oración positiva. Ah, ok. Um, ¿Cómo hacer esa oración positiva? Una pregunta. Una pregunta sería... Um, would you like to... study English... Okay. Today? Nah, okay, All right. very good. Would you like to study English today? So that's a, that's a polite way to request something, right? Very good, Jorge, that's okay. a yes, no question. Remember, okay. the possible answers for those type of questions are like, yes, I would, okay, or no, I wouldn't, right? Those are the way how we were doing those type of things. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's say, Carlos. Yeah, I mean, it's just no question. Mm -hmm. Would you like to eat with me? Ah, okay, very good. You said, you said, let's see. Would you like to eat with me? Okay, very good. That's a just no question using the structure. Very good. 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's another one. All right, next. Let's continue. Uh, let, let me see. Remember, for a just no question, what is the structure that we generally use? Look, we use would, okay, plus subject. Okay, if you remember, after the subject, what it goes? It goes like, okay. Okay, let's remember. Two plus main verb plus complement. Okay, this is the structure that we use in a yes no question, right? Plus the question four. And we have one example here. Would you like to eat with me, as Carlos said? The possible answers to this question. Yes, I would. Okay. Or if you want it long. Yes, I would like to eat with you. Or no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Or no, I would not like to eat with you so those are the possible answers that we got short answers or kind of long answers right even though we might be using positive or negative you know like in the answers right so this is just for just no questions remember this is just for just no questions this is the way how you can you can do it Cool. Do you remember this? Bien. ¿Recordamos hasta acá parte de lo que estuvimos haciendo ayer? Yes, teacher. No, okay, perfect. Um, ¿Somebody has any question with this? ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta con respecto a esta estructura? Let's remember, this is going to be the last time that we're going to be discussing this. <coughs> Luego creo que sí van a ver esa estructura en el módulo. Let me see. This model two. Yeah, in model two, three, we're gonna discuss this. Okay, any question or everything is okay? Bien, si todo está claro hasta acá. All right, let's have some examples. Look, I'm gonna give you some, some, some verbs that we can use. Check this out. Verbs to be used for just no. Question. Let's do some questions. <clears throat> Sorry, let's create some questions related to this. What kind of verbs can we use in here? Look, we can use the verb eat, okay, drink, uh, let's say work, study, um, what else? Go, let's put dance, buy. And let's have another one. Have, okay. And let's choose another one. Let's put, let me see, something easy. Send. So we got how many verbs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine verbs. Okay. What are we going to do with these verbs? Listen. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con estos verbos? something easy listen i want to choose you i want you people to choose two verbs de esos verbos de esos diez verbos que tenemos ahí <coughs> i want you to choose one for one question nah let's choose two escojamos dos verbos de esa pequeña lista que tenemos ahí dos verbos con el primer verbo listen con el primer verbo vamos a escribir una yes no question okay from the first verb. Eh, luego con el segundo verbo vamos a escribir una information question usando las WH word. Pero eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Ahorita enfocémonos más en cómo crear una, hora, una pregunta en yes. Ok, no question instruction. Let me know when you finish just the question and then we are going to share, you know, like the question and the possible answer that one of your classmates can give. Ok, let's create. 
Choose one verb from there. Escojan, escojan un verbo de ahí. Déjenme una Did yes, no question. Did you, excuse me, usando siempre el, el would. Yes, yes. Okay. Lo único que le estoy dando ahí es, es, es el, eh, los verbos, por así decirlo. ¿Cuál podría usar? All right, let's do it. Una o, una o dos, dicho. No, una por ahorita. Okay. Tengo una, a ver si está bien. Ok, let's do it. Let's read it. Would you, would you like to buy a new shoes? Uh, a new shoes. Sí. Póngale a new pair of shoes. A new pair. Exactly. Pair. Okay. I'm not writing down anything. Like this, look, pair. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pair, like this. Yeah, somebody was telling me. Ah, mm. Michelle. Yeah, I, yeah, I would like to dance with me. Mm, 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 that's not a question, Michelle. Remember, in a question, you can start with would you like and then the verb. Mm -hmm. Siguiendo la, siguiendo la fórmula que eh, eh, he escrito ahí al principio. Entonces sería, what you like to. Exactly, exactly. Dance with me. Ah, exactly. Would you like to dance with me? Teacher. There you go. Uh -huh. I choose the verb work. Ah, okay. Uh, would you like to work in my company? Ah, okay, perfect. There you go, Carlos. That's Teacher. one. Ajá, uh Soyla. -huh. Um, would you like to work with me? Now, nah, okay, perfect. That's y another way. Uh -huh. tengo otra. Would you like to go study with me? Would you like to? Uh, give it to me, give it to me. Would you like to study with me? Would you like to study with me? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. There you go, Sayla. Thank you. Yeah, Carlos. I have another. Would okay. you like to study in the in the same in the same school? Ah, okay, very good. Would you like to study in the same school? Very good, Carlos. Okay, William. And then would you like, would uh -huh. you like to drink meal today? <laughs> okay. There you go. That's another one. Cool. Do you have one, Jose? Would you like to dance at the party? Ah, okay. Would you like to dance at the party? Very good. Yo tengo una. Ah, okay, Shemana. Would you like to eat healthy food with me? <laughs> okay, cool. Would you like to eat healthy food with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Jorge, do you have one? Yeah. Uh, would you like to drink beers this weekend? <laughs> okay, just to start to celebrate, man. Okay, cool. Because you would like to study English all week? Uh, read it again, Ivani. You would like study English all week? In this case, démosle vuelta a las, a las primeras dos, Ivania. En vez de decir, you will poner, will you? Ah, ok. Ok, and that, that, that's a question on the structure. Ok, cool. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? Yo, teacher. Ah, ok, cool. Would you like to drink with me? Ah, ok, very good. Would you like to drink with me? That's another one. Very good. Let me see Julio Alberto what he says. Would you like to have coffee? Would you like to have a coffee? Would you like to have a coffee? Yeah, that sounds better, Julio. All right, no problem, Julio. So in that case, you can add a coffee. Okay, cool. Somebody else? Alguien más? Gilberto? Yo tengo una pichera, eso está bien. Ok, read it. Would you like to have a new car? Ah, ok, that's another one. Very good. Would you like to have a new car? 
And I will say, yes, I will. Okay, cool. Cool, Hilberto. Nice. Somebody else? Veronica. Nah, mi Veronica is quiet today. Hmm. <laughs> Would you like to have cooking classes? <laughs> cooking classes. Okay, that's cool. Así se dice. Yes. Okay. <laughs> cooking classes. Yes, I would like to have cooking classes. You know, my wife was teaching me how to cook and everything because she's a chef. But, I, but I, I'm like, you know, like kind of lazy to cook. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fácil se me olvidan las cosas. In that, in that area. Okay, good. Somebody else? Let me see. Uh, I think most of you have already participated. Let's remember, this is just, this is just part of a yes, no question. Now, how to create information questions? <laughs> okay, Julio. Drink coffee. Nah, también, puede, también puede poner have a cup of coffee. No hay ningún problema. All right? Okay, now, let's listen to this. Now, this one belongs to an information question structure. Check this out. Now it's not only rule plus subject. Now we have WH word plus subject. Uh, give me one sec. Plus word in this case. Plus subject. Plus, look at this. Like to, okay. Plus main verb, verbo principal plus complement, plus the question mark, ¿ok? Now, ¿qué es lo único que agregamos en este caso a comparación de la estructura que tenemos para las yes no questions? Simplemente que acá ya llevamos las famosas WH words. ¿Y cuáles son esas WH words que podemos utilizar? Bueno, ya las hemos estado practicando. Las WH words más comunes que tenemos es what, what time, where, when, who, que a veces lo combinamos con with, y luego tenemos why, ok? Those ones are like the most common ones. Estas son como las más comunes. There are more, pero eh, eh, lo podemos dejar así, ok? Now, examples. Look at this. I'm going to create one example for you so you can follow up the idea. Check this out. Where would you like to study next year. Where would you like to study next year? Ah, in this case, remember, it's not a just no answer. In this case, you have to be very specific with the answer. For example, I would like to study, check this out, in Uh, let's put United States okay next year you see ah donde te gustaría okay estudiar el próximo año it says ah me gustaría estudiar en Estados Unidos el próximo año so you see man, that, that, that would be an example right en este caso United States sería como la respuesta a la pregunta Why? Porque acá estamos preguntando sobre dónde, ¿ok? Se va a desarrollar o se desarrolla una acción. Ahora, una pregunta con what time. That's easy. Look at this. What time will, en vez de you, pongámosle una tercera persona. What time will she like to go home? What time would she like to go home? Let me see. Mm, let's put after work. She would like to go home at, you see, at, let's put 5 p.m. after work. You see? 
Y acá ya tenemos la respuesta a esa pregunta. Right? So, what time would you like to go home after work? ¿A qué hora le gustaría ir a casa después del trabajo? Ah, she would like to go home at 5 p.m. after work. Ah, le gustaría ir a casa a las 5 p.m. después del trabajo. So, you see? So, that's a possible answer that we got, okay? Depending on the WS word. Acá, pues, como estoy preguntando la hora, respondo con una hora específica. Arriba, como es where, you know, por eso se responde con un lugar. Now, let's do the last one. Vamos a hacer la última, just for you to, to get, you know, like, acquainted to this. Next one. Who where? Check this out. Who will you Who would you like to dance with? Look at this. In the party. Who would you like to dance with in the party? Ah, ¿con quién te gustaría bailar en la fiesta? Check this out. I would like to dance with My best friend, just to put it that way, with my best friend in the party. Okay. I would like to dance with my best friend in the party. Ah, me gustaría bailar con mi mejor amiga en la fiesta. All right. So, in that case, you know, like, it can be exchangeable. Ahí puede ser intercambiable. Podemos poner cualquier persona, ¿ok? Pero acá es con quien nosotros hacemos una actividad, ¿ok? Cool. Any question with this, people? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá con eso? And for the ones who got the cameras on, please, people, turn it on, please, please. Ajá. Any question? ¿Alguna duda? Or something, any comment? Algo que no esté del todo claro. Oh, do you got everything? O todo comprendemos. Okay, it makes, makes oh, me think. It makes me think that everything is clear. Yeah, everything is clear. All right, cool. Ahora bien, perfecto. Ahora que pues ya hemos comprendido cómo usar las information questions usando las WH words, what are we going to do? Listen, ahora sí, me van a escoger dos verbos de esos de esa lista y me van a hacer una pregunta en primera persona y una en tercera. One in first person and another one in third person. ¿Ok? Using information questions. Pueden usar what, what time, where, when, who, with, and why. Okay, each one of them um, you can use, okay, the one that you prefer the most, but I want two examples, one in first person and the other one in second person, I mean third person. Let's do it. When you finish, just let me know, okay, just to read the, the examples. All right, let's continue. Let's continue and just let me know when you finish. Teacher. Yes, Jose. Tengo una. Okay, let's read it. No sé si eso sería en. En, en primera o en tercera, pero ¿cómo? En tercera. Third person, recuerde, cuando es en tercera persona estamos hablando de él o ella, he or she. Ok, vaya, dice, will, who, who, ok, who will, the party. Uh, repeat the question, Jose. You didn't listen that much. 
donde quién se va a realizar la fiesta. Ajá, solo que repítamelo otra vez porque no les no les cansé escuchar. We're, we're, ah. Who is going to hold the party? Okay, but in this case, listen. Okay, listen. En este caso, igual siempre estaríamos usando will, like, ok. Y ahí en esa pregunta like. que usted me ha hecho, no, 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 no la tenemos incluida. Ok. Sí, chair, tengo una, let's, pero let's, no sé let's, si está bien. Ok, let's modify that one, José. Ivania, ok. okay. Let's put it, Ivania. Where, where would like? Where would you like to dance at night? Ah, ok. Where would you dance at night? Ok. Oh, where would you like to dance at night? It would be good. Ah. Ok, very good. Yeah, I mean, you're giving a place. Ajá, Carlos. Ok. Where would I drink in horchata in this town? Where would... Where would I drink Horchata in this town. ¿A dónde puedo tomar horchata en este pueblo? Where will... Where will I drink horchata in this town? ¿Dónde tomaría horchata en esta ciudad? Ajá. ¿Está bien? Le falta el... <risa> le falta el... Mire, estructuralmente está correcta. Pero le, fal, le falta el like to. Ajá. ¿Por qué sería el like to? O sea, porque mi, mi pregunta es, este, ¿a dónde podría tomar horchata en, en este pueblo? Eh, where would I drink horchata in this town? Ah, en, ahí no es podría. Uh -huh. Sino más bien, where would I drink, ¿dónde tomaría o bebería? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, where would I drink horchata in this town? I mean, I, the, as I told you, I mean, it is correct, the structure. Pero uh -huh. como la estructura también lleva el would like to, que es como una estructura fija, so, incluyelo ahí. Ok. También tengo otra, no sé si, ajá, de como otro verbo. Ok, no, let's, let's put it away. En tercera persona sería, where will she eat tomorrow? Where will she like to eat tomorrow? Ah, ajá. Eh, faltó el verbo. Ah, bueno. Eat exactly. Ah, lo puse. Where will she eat tomorrow? Le falta el like to también. Like to. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Yeah. Where will she like to eat tomorrow? Ok. Very teacher, good. Tengo, tengo una. Ok, William. Ver, si en first person, eh, what time would you, no, when would you like to watch your car? Wash your car. When, when would you like to watch your car? Ah, okay, very good. And to enter per, uh, person. Uh huh. Then me dice si le hace falta algo. Tengo duda. What okay. time would she like to go sleep today? Repeat it again, please. What time would she like to go sleep today? What time would she like to go to sleep today? Uh -huh. Just a little today. Uh -huh. okay. Ah, okay. Ah, el two. Después del exactly. go, two, le hizo falta. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Where would you like to dance tonight? Tonight, tonight. Tonight va unido, Julio. Let me see. Where would you like to study? Where would you like to dance? Okay, yeah. That one is, is join. All right, somebody else? Alguien más? Que ya las haya completado? Yo. Ah, ok. Yo también. Cool. Ok, cool. Let's see. First, uh, Xiomara, then Verónica, and then Zoila. Where would you like to go in your vacation? Ah, ok. Good question. Where would you like to go on vacation? I would like to... <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I, I, I would like to go a lot, to a lot of places, but... I'm going to be in my house. Good, Xiomara. Good question. 
Y la otra es, why she like to buy a lot of pair of shoes? Why? Will she like to buy a lot of pair of shoes? Sí. Okay. Of shoes. Very good. Why would she like to buy a lot of pair of shoes? Very good. Thank you, Xiomara. Now, Veronica. Xiomara me quitó la mía, la primera que tenía de la vacación. Really? Entonces la cambié y la dije. Why would you like to go to mountain this vacation? To the mountain. Mountain. To the mountain on vacation. Uh -huh. Why? Nah, okay, very Why? good. Y la otra en tercera persona era What would he like to drink after lunch? Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Veronica. Now, Soyla. Where would you like to buy tomorrow? Where would you like to buy tomorrow? Okay, very good. Good question. Uh, why, why would you she like to dance in the party? Repeat the question again. Why would you she like to dance? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Stay there. You, uh -huh. she. Así dice, you, she. No, why would she like? Ah, es que este dijo, why would I'm, you she? No, el, 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 you know. Why, no, 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 you know. Okay. Why would she like to dance in the party? Ah, okay, very good. That's that's a good question. All right, thank you, Soy. Okay, okay cool. You. Somebody else? Alguien más que haya terminado? Yo, teacher. Okay, Cindy. Let's go. Um, la primera, where would you like to play her the next week? Ah, play, um, play, right? No. Dijo play o player? Uh, yes, player. Ah, uh, play. Player. Porque, play porque player es jugador. Ah, uh, no, jugar. Ajá, ajá, por eso le digo. Entonces sería play, play. Play, play. Ah, okay. Ajá, ajá. Yes, porque um, player es la persona. Y, ok. Y la segunda, with wool, he likes to drink coffee in the afternoon. Where will he like to drink? That's the starting, right? No, with. With. Ah, you mean why? Ajá, uh -huh. why? No, no, la, la que está con who? who? Ah, pero, who? pero, pero en ese caso, with, eh, por lo general va al final. Who al principio. Ah, uh, ok. Yes, like como en la pregunta que. De Entonces, ejemplo, en el, aquí estaría mal. Eh, si está comenzando Ajá. si está comenzando con with sí solo le tendría que poner entonces who ah uh, okay léala con who 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 espera cómo sería Ajá. who 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 Ajá. who who he like to drink coffee in the afternoon okay Okay, who would he like to drink coffee in the afternoon with? El with, with, with. uh -huh. okay. Exactly. Very good, Cindy. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. Somebody else? Alguien más? Go. All right, Michelle, let's go. Uh, when would you like to eat with me? Ah, okay, okay. Uh, what time would she like to buy a lunch? Uh, repeat again. What time would she like to buy a lunch? Ah, uh, okay. What time would she like to buy a lunch? Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ok, perfecto. Let me see. Somebody else. Gerardo. No, Gerardo is not here. Jorge. Are you there? Yeah. Uh, where would you like to go with me today? Ah, ok, cool. Next question. Y la otra sería. Who would you like to go with in the supermarket? Who would you like to go to go to the supermarket with? To the supermarket with. Okay. Exactly. That's the way. Okay. Thank you, Jorge. Now, Wendy, do you have your examples? Wendy, are you there? Hello. Okay, let me see. Okay, uh, I think Wendy's not there. Let me see. What is what Julio said? Who would you like to send messages? Okay, uh, Julio, solo que acá, para que tenga más lógica, póngale al final el to, la palabra to. To, like this, look. Who would you like? To send aha uh -huh, messages. Messages are like this. Look, two like this, Julio. Who would you like to send messages to? A quién le gustaría enviarle un mensaje? Okay, that's 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 literally what it says there. Okay, all right, cool, Julio. Okay, people, let me see who else is missing. Gilberto, do you have your examples? Okay, Mr. Read them, please. Primera persona. Aha. Would you like to study in the university? Uh, would you like to study in the university? Sí. Eh, solo que ahí tenemos que agregarle una WS word, Gilberto. Puede ser, por ejemplo, what time would you like to study uh, in the university? Okay. Okay. All right. From the ones that we got in here, look. De las que tenemos acá. Yes, de las que oh, tenemos okay. acá, mire. Over here. Ahí se la agrego, teacher. Okay, perfect. And the next question? La segunda. Where, where would you like to go in the weekend? Ah, okay, very good. Where would you like to go in the weekend? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. That's acceptable. Thank you, Gilberto. Thank you, teacher. Okay, nice. Let me see who else is missing. Ta, ta, ta. Jonathan. Thank you, know? teacher. Okay. Sí, sí. Sí, están bien. Right Tengo la primera que dice, where do you, you like to work in the United States? Ah, okay. All right. Where would you like to, to, to work in the United States? Next. Uh, tengo la otra. Uh -huh. Where can I go for a war Why my friend? Uh, technically, it's correct. Uh, Técnicamente está correcta, Jonathan. Solo que ahí no me estoy usando el would like. Mm -hmm. Yes, tenemos que usar el would like. Ahí en vez de would like, usted me está usando can. Y a esa es otra estructura. So, que tiene que ser where would you like? Would you like? Uh huh. For I were why my friend. Okay. So in the, in ese caso sería, por ejemplo, where would I like to go for a walk with my friend? Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Like this. Look, I'm already done in here because you're gonna be the last one. Look, where 
Would I like to go for a walk with my friend? It would be like this. Where would I like to go for a walk with my friend? Okay, teacher. No, okay, perfect, Jonathan. There you go. I think you were the last one to participate. Yeah, I mean, most, most of you have already done it. Okay, now let's continue. Check this out. What are we going to do? I'm going to stop sharing this information. Okay, voy a dejar de compartir in here. Uh, yeah, Juan. Were you about to say something, Juan Campos? What is it? I am in there. Juan, are you there? Okay, I think you have problems with the internet because we don't listen to you. Ok, espero se le restablezca y podamos comunicarnos. No sé si tiene problemas con el audio. Oh, that's it is, because I don't even see that you have the camera on. Ok, anyways, but I hope you can fix those things, ok? I hope you can do it. Now, I'm going to share the presentation that I have for today, so in which I'm going to explain the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. Check this out. So this is the video conference number 18. Let's remember two more video conferences and we finish basically the module, okay? So tonight's topic is going to be how to use cool for polite and formal requests. Listen up. How to use cool for polite and formal requests, all right? Ahora ya no estamos usando la palabra cool. Y mucho menos el would like to. No, ahora es otra, otra, otro, uh, podemos decirlo, verbo uh, auxiliar, ok, que vamos a estar discutiendo, que en este caso sería cool. Cool. All right, what happens with cool? Cool es conocido formalmente como la forma pasada, ok, del verbo can. Creo que ya todos. Uh, sabemos cuál es el significado de ese verbo, right? Can. ¿Qué significa can? Puedo. Puedo. Puedo o poder, right? Poder, in general. Ok, so, en este caso, cool sería como la forma pasada de este verbo. Podría. Ah, uh, ok, podría. Can be possible. Podría, exactly. There you go. Now, let's continue. So let's see a little bit about this. Uh, and since we are going to be using that in, in formal situations, all right, in uh, polite questions, so the structure is going to be based mostly on questions. Now, the agenda. The review from the previous topic is lo que acabamos básicamente de hacer con el tema pasado. Then it says cool for formal requests. Vamos a usar cool para Ok, solicitudes formales, just to put it away. Then we're going to provide some examples. Luego vamos a proveer algunos, you know, like important examples related to the topic. After the example, we are going to go to a practice in the manual. That practice includes a short conversation. Esa práctica va a incluir una conversación que tenemos ahí, like, like in the manual. And that's pretty much what we have, okay? That's pretty much the structure. Vamos a comenzar con la estructura de este, de este uh, tema. Check this out. This is the structure. We got cool plus subject plus verb in base form, of course, plus complement and plus the question mark. Let's remember, in here, we are starting with just no questions. Acá con esta estructura, eh, lo que estamos haciendo es cómo crear preguntas usando cool, ¿ok? Porque acá básicamente lo que vamos a hacer es usarlo para, ¿ok? Solicitudes formales, ¿ok? Por así decirlo, usando preguntas, mostly, using questions. 
Y vamos a comenzar con lo más común. Vamos a comenzar con las yes, no questions. ¿Ok? Recuerden que todo verbo auxiliar que inicie una pregunta es una yes, no question. Entonces es una pregunta con yes or no. And we have one example over here. Gilberto, can you help me out reading the example, please? Uh, would you send this report, please? Ah, okay, very good. Would you send this report, please? Literally, what it says that in Spanish. ¿Qué vendría a ser esta pregunta? ¿Cómo la interpretamos en español? Would you send this report, please? Podría, Podría enviarme. Por favor. Ah, ok. Thank you. Thank, thank you, people. Like, ¿podrías enviar este reporte, por favor? So, you see? So, in that case, we're talking about something, all right, polite in this case. You are making a polite request. Aquí, pues, estamos solicitando algo de manera, like, bien educada. Like, super de way. The possible answer to this question. You might say, yes, of course. Listen. Podemos responder, yes, of course. Ok. O alguna otra expresión que indique afirmación. Pero, listen. Pero no podemos colocar, yes, I could. ¿Por qué creen ustedes que no podríamos colocar, yes, I could? En este tipo de preguntas. ¿Por qué creen ustedes? Vaya, que en esta pregunta que tengo acá dice, Could you send this report, please? ¿Por qué creen ustedes que me resulta mejor decir, Yes, of course, y no decir, Yes, I could. Cool. Why? Porque ahí, porque ahí diría, sí, podría, pero no es como certero que lo va a hacer. Exactly. Thank you, William. En ese caso, está diciendo, ah, sí, sí podría, pero no está dando la seguridad de que lo va a hacer, ¿ok? Ahí es simplemente dando una posibilidad de que podría hacerlo, pero si no quiere, no lo va a hacer, right? So, in that case, por eso no se puede utilizar, eh, por así decirlo, en, en, al menos en este tipo de respuesta, you know, like, decir, yes, I could, right? Simplemente puedes utilizar yes, of course, ok, like in a moment, right away, ok, expressions like that. Let's continue. Let's see. Xiomara, can you help me out reading this one? Will you help me for a minute, please? Ah, ok, very good. Could you help me for a minute, please? ¿Podrías ayudarme por un minuto, por favor? Can you see? That's being very formal, right? And then it says, of course. También lo podemos poner de esta manera un poco más simple. Of course. Ah, por supuesto. Right? So that's the way how we uh, have this type of question. Let me see. Do I have another one? No, nah, this is the only one. Okay. You can copy sure. this, this, this type of examples. Yes. Y en esa pregunta se puede también responder let me five minutes or give me five minutes. Yes, yes, you can say that. For example, in the answer you say. Yeah. You can say, look, puede responder usted como yes, of course, look at this. Simplemente, of course, in a minute, Give me five minutes. Okay. Uh, right away. Okay, you see? In a moment. Okay, we can have this type of, of uh, answers for this type of questions. Podemos usar este tipo de estructuras para responder a esas preguntas. Okay. For example, yes, of course. Sí, por supuesto. Okay, 
Of course, por supuesto. In a minute. Ah, en un momento. Ok, o en un minuto. Give me five minutes. Ah, dame cinco minutos. All right. right away. Ahorita mismo. Okay. In a moment. Ah, en un momento. So you see, all of them are positive answers. Ok. All of them are positive answers in this case. Entonces, pero poder, podemos responder de esa manera, usando esas expresiones, right? Just to provide an answer to those questions. Pero como le digo, ah, no, podemos usar, yes, I could. Ok, Carlos, I, I hope you, you can fix those problems, then. ¿eh? Espero resuelva esos problemas, Carlos, de conectividad. Ok, any question up to now? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Before we move on. Y ahí se puede responder como de forma negativa. Yes, yes, you can do it that. Let me see. Could you help me for a minute, please? Yeah, you can say. Listen. Usted para responder de manera negativa puede ser, por ejemplo, no, I'm sorry. O oh, I'm sorry. I'm busy. Ah, no, lo siento. Oh, lo siento, estoy ocupado. You see? Y ahí estamos hablando de algo negativo, right? We're talking about something negative. Sí, y esa, esa, y con, con apóstrofe, es lo que significa de forma negativa. No, significa I am. Mm. No, aquí simplemente de manera, uh, digamos, por así decirlo, educada le está diciendo, no, lo siento. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo para uh -huh. decir, no, no te puedo ayudar? ¿Right? Ah, o, okay. por ejemplo, I'm sorry. Ah, lo siento. I'm busy. Estoy ocupado. ¿Y sí? No okay. necesariamente sin decirle no, le estamos dando una negación. ¿Ok? A la petición que nos están haciendo. All right, any other question? ¿Alguna otra duda? Negativamente podría ser también no, 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 o por no. Ajá, sí podría ser, solo que sería así no, como que. No, que no. Ajá, no, yeah, no, of course not. Ajá, esa es otra expresión. No, of course not. Right? No, por supuesto que no. Pero eso suena como muy rudo, ¿verdad? Right? Por supuesto que no. Sí, hombre, imagine, imagine William le dice a usted, hey, ¿podría llevarme a, 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 ¿qué? a mi trabajo? Y dice, por supuesto que no. La no, verdad, eso sería así como que demasiado rudo. Y así, como, como muy, muy, muy rudo. All right. Pero sí es aceptable también. Gracias, right? okay, Gracias, Okay, cool. Now, if you don't have any other question, I'm going to erase this part. And let me see. Let's continue. Okay, we have some extra examples in here. Michelle, read the next one. Uh, could you carry my bag? Ah, okay. Could you carry my bags? Ah, ¿podrías llevar mis bolsas? All right, Julio César. Okay. Yes. Olvide el I, que, que va ahí. Se, se, fue, se fue de colada ahí. Ok. Yes, it's a pleasure. Ah, ok, very good. Uh, this, don't include this one. Don't include this one. No voy a incluir a este. Se fue de meche ahí. Let's, let's erase it like this. Okay. Yes, it's a pleasure, right? Very good. Next example. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel, are you there? Emmanuel? Hello. 
Ok, cool. Let me see. Ok, de los que tienen la cámara apagada, ¿quiénes estamos activos aquí? Who are active? Porque a veces pregunto y no sé si es que o me van conduciendo o están dormidos ya. Oh, what happened? Ah, ajá, ajá. Ok. Carlos, because he has problems with the internet. Carlos, porque me dijo que tenía dificultades sí, con el internet. Sí, sí, que estaba jugando con los datos y con, y con el Wi-Fi. Entonces, como, como que me sacaba y, y con que entraba a la vez, pero ya estoy aquí en la casa de nuevo, que salía al parqueo. <laughs> ok, ok. Ayudo, mister. No problem. Ok. All right. Ok, perfect. Let's continue. It says, could you give me some advice? And you know the answer. Look. Of course. It's not, por supuesto. Right? Next example question. Uh, let's see. Wendy. Could you carry these boxes? Okay, very good. Could you carry these boxes? Okay. Ah, podrías llevar estas cajas? So, the possible answer to this question, in a minute. Ah, en un momento, right? O en un minuto. Just to put it away as an example. So, this is the way how we, you know, like, answer to this type of question. Entonces, esa es la forma en cómo nosotros contestamos a este tipo de preguntas. I don't know, people, if you have any questions. Yeah, Mixel. Eh, y digamos que si um, para decir como podrías ayudarle a ella con sus bolsas cómo, cómo no funciona esta estructura de cool yes I mean it's, it's, it's actually the way is easy look podrías ayudarle con las bolsas right uh -huh. como digamos que para otra para ella o a él. Ah. You see? Could you help her with the bags, please? ¿Podrías ayudarle a ella con las bolsas, por favor? Y el verbo no cambia su forma base. No, no cambia, ¿ok? Cool okay. es parte también de, un, de, de una categoría de verbos, ¿ok? Es parte de una categoría de verbos que se les conoce como verbos modales o modal verbs. ¿Qué sucede con este tipo de verbos? Por lo general, todos son verbos auxiliares. Pero en tercera persona, aunque estemos hablando en presente simple, no cambian. Ellos, a este tipo de verbos no se les agrega S, E, S o I, E, S. Okay. En tercera persona no sufre ningún tipo de modificación. Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok. And let's remember, el verbo principal aquí sería help. Ok, ese sería el verbo principal. Y como la estructura nos dice que el verbo principal tiene que estar en forma base, ¿verdad? Right? So, por eso es que no sufre ningún tipo de cambio. Cool. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta hasta acá con este tema? Something that might not be understandable for you? Hmm, ok, cool. I guess we are understanding this. Vamos a suponer que todo va quedando super easy. All right. You know. Ok, now listen. Para identificar que también vamos comprendiendo el tema, Let's do a, a couple of examples. Vamos a hacer un par de ejemplos. Listen up. Quiero que me hagan dos preguntas usando este, este, esta estructura. ¿Ok? En la cual ustedes van a solicitar cualquier cosa. ¿Right? Pero que tiene que llevar el cool al principio. Let's remember that. Mientras ustedes hacen esas dos preguntas, yo paso asistencia. ¿Ok? Let's do it. I'm going to stop sharing this information. Give me one second. Give me one second. All right, Carlos Mauricio. 
Okay, he's not here. Cindy Melanie? Present teacher. Okay, cool. Elvi, she's not here. Uh, Stephanie Michelle? Present. Okay, Gustavo, nah, Gustavo is not here. Ivania Yamilet? Present teacher. Excellent. Jorge Alberto? Present teacher. Okay, cool. Jorge Antonio? Jose Antonio, are you there? Hello. Ah, me parece ver lo que está conectado, pero no tiene cámara ni micrófono, mister. Yo hola, no sé. hola, teacher. Sí, ah. perdón, perdón. Me decía. No, me no pasé de atenderse. Estoy pasando asistencia. Ah, ok. <laughs> Present. Ok, cool, thank you. Jose Edgar, ah, yeah, he said present in the, in the chat. Okay. Uh, Juan Emanuel. Good evening. Ah, okay, cool. Good evening, Juan. Perfect. Juan Gilberto. Present Okay, very good. Give me one second. I am Alberto here. Uh, Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, excellent. Karen Beatriz. No, Karen didn't show up today. Uh, Luis Gerardo. Okay, he's not here. Uh, let's move Veronica Arely. Present. Nice. Wendy Yamilet. Present. Very good. William Ernesto. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, nice. Luis Jonathan. Present, teacher. Cool. Carlos Jose. I'm here to be present. Very nice. And the last one, Soila Guadalupe. Ah, okay, very good. Nice. Let me know when you finish the questions, okay? Finish. Ah, okay, perfect. Vamos a esperar a los demás, okay? Ahora sí, para, para, para okay. leer las, las preguntas finish, que teacher. tenemos. Okay, perfect, perfect. Vamos a terminar todas las preguntas para luego leerlas, ¿ok? Read them in general. So just let me know when you finish. Finish, teacher. Ok, Cindy, thank you. Finish teacher. Okay, nice. Thank you, Sola. Somebody else has finished? Alguien más ya terminó? Finish teacher. Okay, nice. Perfect. Let's wait for the other ones. Vamos a esperar los demás. Let's wait for the other ones. Finish. Okay, nice.
Ok. I guess everybody has already finished. Creo que ya todos terminamos. Uh, Xiomara, can you please, listen up, can you please read your questions? Could you borrow me your car, please? Uh -huh, okay. And could you bring me a bottle of water, please? Okay. Very good. Pregunta para ponerse a pensar la primera semana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, Semara. Now, okay. uh, Soyla, bring yours. Okay. Could you teach English, please? Could you send, send me the report early, please? Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you, Soyla. Gilberto? Okay, teacher. Would you help me with my English, English homework? English homework? Ah, okay. Would you help Would you help me fix the cleaning of the house? Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, very good. Thank you, Gilberto. Veronica. Could you help me do the shopping for the week, please? Ah, okay. And could you could you water the plants this afternoon? Please. <laughs> okay, so you are the plants. All right, there you go. Thank you, Veronica. Let me see, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Could you could you drive more fast? Ah, uh, in este caso sería faster. Could you drive more faster? Ah, eliminemos el more. Solo dejemos faster. Could you drive faster? Exactly. Okay. Faster es para decir más rápido. Okay. The second one sería, could you finish the homework? Ah, okay. Very good. Could you finish okay. the homework? Cool. Eso les estaré diciendo el viernes a los que no hayan terminado la tarea 20 todavía. Okay, teacher. Ah, no, listen, listen. Ah, hablando de tareas. Thank you, Carlos. Listen. Para los que eh, todavía piensan que, pues, a lo mejor llega el viernes, eh, pues, todavía no han hecho las tareas. Recuerden que para este viernes también tienen el examen final, ¿ok? Y si pueden, eh, digamos, o si tienen tiempo, pueden ir avanzando en el examen final también, desde ya, ¿ok? Recuerden que todo eso es prácticamente una práctica para ustedes, ¿ok? Y pues así me sirve también a mí para colectar la información o de sus calificaciones el viernes por la noche, por así decirlo, que es cuando ya eh, estaría enviando sus notas finales, ¿ok? A Lisa Forb. Entonces, en este caso, si ustedes consideran a bien ya el poder desarrollar el examen final, lo pueden comenzar y no hay ningún problema. Al igual que las tareas también, ¿ok? Si pueden avanzar en las tareas, pueden hacerlo sin ningún problema, right? Eso para los que puedan pensar que, pues, eh, estaría mal si continúan eh, con la tarea 19, por así decirlo, si están en el caso 18. No, you can do it that way. And there's no problem, ¿ok? Entonces no hay ningún problema. Ah, otra cosa. Please. No, no, no me vayan a hacer la, la, la encuesta de satisfacción hasta el viernes, ¿ok? Just, 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 just uh, as a reminder, como modo de recordatorio, please. So give me one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check Julio's uh, questions. Could you help me with the homework? Could you drive my car? Nah, okay, Julio. Cool. Okay, creo que nadie diría esa segunda, Julio. Could you drive my car? Creo que nadie prestaría el carro. But anyway, Julio, good, good. That's a good question. Okay. Uh, Ivania, read your questions. Uh, could you help me send the report? 
Ah, okay. A call you help me to repair my computer. Ah, okay, very good. Could you help me to repair my computer? No, you can put it away too. Thank you, Vania. Now, Emmanuel. Okay. Could you lend me $1,000? <laughs> okay, good. Could you open the door to the car, please? Uh, the car door. The car door, okay. Yes. The car door. Yes. Okay, cool. Pregunta bien fuerte esa primera, Juan. Ya, yeah, me. ¿Podrías prestarme mil dólares? <laughs> Todos le dijeran, in a moment. <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's continue. Uh, Wendy, say your questions, Wendy. Vaya, sería. Eh, could you watch my car, please? Watch de ver o wash de lavar. De lavar. Ah, es que como wash. Dijo, watch, ah, uh, wash. Okay. Okay, wash. Wash my car. Um, call you tell me the route. La ruta. Nah, the road, okay. The road. Tell me the road. Oh, okay, good. There you go. Thank you, Wendy. Now, okay. Cindy. Yes, teacher. Read the questions. Yes. Um. Could could you no? Could she watch the the movie in the night? Ah. Okay. Very good. Um. Could you go for my pet in the bed? Ah. Okay. For my pet in the bed. For my pet. Ah. Oh. You can say for my pet to the bed. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good to you, Cindy. Now, Michelle. Let's read your examples, Michelle. Eh, pero no sé si está bien, si está mejor. Okay. Eh, could you take me out for eat tacos? Could you take me out to eat tacos? ¿Cómo, cómo? Could you to take... Eat. To eat tacos. Uh -huh. Okay, could you take me out to eat tacos? To eat tacos. Please. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, that's an strong question, man. Pregunta difícil. ¿Podría sacarme a comer tacos? All right. Okay, cool. Next question, Michelle. Uh, could, could you call to client, please? Ah, okay, could you call to clients, please? Very good. That's another okay. one. Thank you, Michelle. William. Uh, could you send the report today? Ah, okay, perfect. Could you work overtime tomorrow? Ah, okay. Ah. Nah, my overtime is difficult. <laughs> but anyways, Julio, Cesar. Uh, call you prepare this report. Okay. Uh, call you buy a new computer. <laughs> okay, cool. Y, y si quisiera to... decir, call you make one pants, podría ser así o cómo sería. Y eso de, 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 de hacer. De make, ah, como cuando uno va y que le haga un pantalón. <laughs> no, ya me, could you make. Uh -huh. Sí. Yeah, I mean, it's just simple because you are creating something. Oh, okay. okay, there we go. Thank you, Julio. Bueno. Now, let's see. Sylvia has already participated. Jonathan. Your teacher. Jonathan, are you there? <laughs> Would you please take this order to my house? Nah, okay. 
Next. Esto tengo. Ah. Can you, can, can you take my teeth loan from the company? Could you take my teeth loan for the company? Uh, I I don't get the verb. The verb. Can you repeat it slowly, please? Could you take? Repítalo otra vez, por favor. Could you take my teeth loan for the company? ¿Me podría llevar, por favor, estas cajas a la empresa? Ah, ok. Could you take these boxes? Vamos a ponerle boxes. La idea es. Could you take these boxes to the company, please? You see? This is the way. Okay, teacher, gracias. Yeah, I mean, the question mark is missing over there. The symbol of the pregunta faltaba. Okay, it's like this. Okay, just modify that one, Jonathan, okay? Perfect. Now, Jorge. Could you help me with those chairs? Okay, very good. Could you send me these files today, please? No, okay, very good. Could you send me the files, please? Very good. Okay. Thank you, Jorge. And let's see the last one. And the last one is... Ah, I mean, it was the last one. It was the last one. Okay, creo que era, la, era, era, era el último. Okay, now let's keep going. Now listen. Since we basically have done that part, I think we don't have any other extra examples. No, okay, let's go straight to the manual. Vamos a ir directo al manual. Okay. Let's go to the page 47 in your manual, right? Page 47. That's going to be the page in which we are going to be working on. This page specifically. Okay, I think you can you can, you can see. It. Okay, in there you can find this conversation that is between Max and Joe. Okay, uh, actually it's a pretty long conversation. Let me see. It's a few minutes and larger. Okay, broken nothing. No, it's not that much. Okay, let's start over the practice of this uh, small conversation. Let's remember, uh, we're going to do the same thing as we do every day, you know, by reading the conversation and then going through the practice. It says, listen, it says Max. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. Hello, this is Max from tech support all right one 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 second people it's una pregunta antes de continuar people Se le, uh, mm, me están escuchando cortado de casualidad no teacher no todo bien es it okay ah okay so it was your internet julio se escucha bien Ah, perfecto. Entonces, es escuchar? el inter de, 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 de él, entonces. Ok, cool. Let's continue. It's us. Thank you, people. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? How can I help you? It says, Joe. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. My name is... 
Joe. My name is Joe. I work for Pips. I work for Pips. All right. Ah, let me see. Pips.com. Pips.com. And it says, we receive the new printer. We received the new printer. And I need help. And I need help setting it up. Setting it up. Could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Okay. Then it says Max. No problem, Joe. No problem, Joe. Let's see. Could you tell me the model? Could you tell me the model? Okay, it says, Joe, let me check. Let me check. Okay, and then it says, can you hold on a second, please? Can you hold on a second, please? And then it says, oh, it's an Uki page MX30. Listen up. Oh, it's an Uki page MX30. It says Max. Okay. First. Okay. First. Listen up. Make sure that the power. Make sure that the power cord is plugged in. The power cord is plugged in. Okay, Joe says. All right. Not all right. It is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Could you tell me what I need? To do next, please. And then it says. Okay, it says. Second. Check that the installation CD. Second. Check that the installation CD. Is in the tray. Is in the tray and third and third that's enough once the menu appears once the menu appears on the screen on the screen click on the listen up click on complete install click on complete install okay from the whole conversation people do you have any question with the vocabulary de toda la conversación tienen alguna duda pregunta con el vocabulario eh, qué significa peps teacher give me one second i'm gonna put this okay which one one peps p doble -E p Ah, this one, pips.com. No, pips.com es el nombre de una compañía. Ah, okay. Es como que usted diga pips.com. .com significa punto .com. Ah, ok. En la palabra plugged, plugged. Plug in. Ajá. Es, una, es un verbo compuesto. Plug in significa enchufar. Ah, ok. Somebody else? Mm. Alguien y, más? Y core, manera? teacher, core. ¿Qué significa? What is it? Core. Ah, no, I mean the core, power cord. Esta es una, es una sola, look, power cord. Mm. Power cord es el cable que, que da alimentación de un dispositivo cuando usted lo conecta a la electricidad. 
And okay. Exactly. Something else? Algo más? Teacher. Yes. Ulti page. Ulti page. Ulti page. Sí, sí. Eh, eh, son como esas impresoras que están saliendo ahora multifunción. Que tienen varias funciones. O, no, no ulti page. Es like, like, like. Those okay. type of fast, fast printers. Ok. Good. Somebody else? ¿Alguna otra palabra más? Así, patterns. Which one? Sorry. Appears. En el último párrafo. Uh, appears. Ah. Appears es aparecer. Ah, aparecer. Exactly. Something else? Algo más? Tray, teacher, ¿qué significa? Tray, tray means bandeja. Ok. Ok, bandeja. Especialmente donde solemos colocar discos, ok, ya sea en la computadora o en un aparato, es la bandejita donde se coloca el disco. That's a tray. También tray se le conoce a las bandejas para cocinar, right? The big ones. Cool. Ok, perfecto. ¿Todo bien con el vocabulario, people? No questions. Ok, I guess you understand everything. Give me one second. I'm going to stop sharing it here. Bien, ahora voy a dejar de compartir porque nos vamos a practicar un poco esta pequeña conversación. Right? This is like the one uh, that we can practice the most. Give me one second. Ah, yes, ya se arregló, Julio. Okay, perfect. Let me see how many people are we right now. We are 16, 15. Jesus. Only 16 people. That's sure. crazy. Yes, Gilberto. Ah, ah, you mean the, the, the whole screen? Okay. Give me one second. Permítanme un segundo. I'm gonna make an instant in here. Voy a hacer una instantánea acá para poderle enviar. Okay. Cool. Now, I'm going to send it to the practice y ya le envío al grupo, Gilberto, ¿ok? Give me one second, ahí le va a caer. Thank you, teacher. Give me one second. So, en este caso, Julio y José Edgar, los voy a tener que mover. Give me one second. Julio Alberto. Ok, I'm gonna put it there. Sí. Julio se lo va a estar de oyente, ok. And Michelle is gonna be for José. Give me one second, guys. Number seven. Okay, perfect. Let's open the presentations in there, the breakout rooms. Les vamos a ir a practicar por unos 10 minutos esta conversación, okay? Let's go over it. You can enter to the breakout rooms. Let's go, people. Let's go. In the meantime, I'm going to be cropping this thing. One second, I'm cropping this just to send the picture to to the group. Let 
give me one second i'm just doing this because it is needed All right, perfect. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna go and check. Teacher, hello, hello. Yes. Fíjate que guardé mal la 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 screenshot. No se preocupe. Ahorita eso estoy haciendo. Ya ya la voy a enviar a la a la al grupo. Okay. Excelente. Gracias. Yes. Okay. Ahorita aquí va. There you have. Ahí estamos, gracias, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Ok, bueno, ya podemos empezar entonces. Tengo que... Ok. Hello, this is Max from Test Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for, for PITS. PITS come. We receive the new printer and I need help to set up and setting up. Could you help me, please? No problem, John. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Ahora empiezo este, pero eh, preguntemos la pronunciación. Teacher, la palabra de Max. Blue Jet. Nah, ¿Cómo se pronuncia es, es, así? Flag. Plug in. Plug. Plug in. The in. Ajá. Plug in. Exacto. Como con, plug in. con D. Como con la plug. pronunciación con D al final. Plug in. Plug in. Plug Exacto. in. Plug in significa conectado. Mm. Ok. Y otra. Um, bueno, ya, ya veremos. <risa> comience, <risa> comience. Ok, Cindy. Ok. Bye. Right. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Please. Second, share that. Share that the installation CD is the tray. Enter. Can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for Peers.com. Uh, we received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Uh, could you help me, please? No problem, Joy. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Uh, can you hold on the second, please? Ah, it's a uh, old page max thirty. Okay, first make sure that the power core in plug in is plugged in, plugged in. Plugged in. Plugging. Plugging. Plug. Listen, listen. Plugged. Con, con la pronunciación de la D al final. Plugged. Ah, plugged. Uh, not D. Plugged. 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 Uh, plugged. Ah, plug in. Uh, plug in. Okay. Plugged in. Plugged in. Okay. Es que se lo había escuchado mal entonces. <laughs> ok. Plug the in. Yes. All right. It is called you tell me what I need to the next, please. Second, check that the installation CD is in the right try. Try. Third, once the menu. Try. Try. Mm -hmm. Try or try? No, try. 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 Okay. Is in the tray and tear once the menu appears on the screen. Click 
on complete install. Install, there we go. Eh, hoy comienzo yo, ¿verdad? O usted empieza. Eh, sí, usted no. empieza ahora. Ah, yo. Ah, ok. Sí, usted empieza. Eh, hello, this is Max from Page Support. Eh, how can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for Pits.com. We received the new printer and a new help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joy. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on the second, please? Ooh, it's an ulti page match story. Oxford's um, may sure that the power cord in plan in. Plug, plug plug in. in. Plug ¿Cómo? in. Plug, plug in. in. Plug in. In. Black in. Black All right. It is called you tell me. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an ulti page. MX30. Okay, first. Mike is true. Then the power for. And I need help sending it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Espérame. Que esa cuca anda volando. Y no la puedo matar. <laughs> what? <laughs> en inglés lo tenía que haber dicho <risa> es que ya afuera ya no me cuca voladora pero se me perdió <risa> perdón teacher es que la cuca me da miedo no es un anime ok ok no problem <risa> Es, es que voló frente de mí a saber dónde cayó y, y otra vez acaba de volar. Es, eh, listen, Michelle. Uh -huh. Mire, Ay, listen, listen. En la parte del auricular se le ve algo que se le anda moviendo. <risa> no. Ay, no me diga eso, que sí. Y sí, tengo un pánico a la cuca <risa> esa. No, me no Todos los insectos chiquitos me dan fobia. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay. Oh, no. Bye. Si quieren. We will save the printer. We will save the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem. Yo. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Okay. Uh, all right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second check, that the installation CD is in the tray in my name is John. I go for Pipscom. We recite a new printer and I need help setting up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you all on second place with um, the page MX story? Okay. First, make sure that the power core is plugged. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check the that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Hello, this is Mac Frontage Report. How, uh, how can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pepscom. We recite the new printer and I need you and I need help 
setting up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Is could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the track. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Ah, okay, cool. I think you have practiced enough, right? Creo que sí ya practicaron lo suficiente. So let's go to the main section, yes. okay? Because I want to listen to you there, okay? See you there. Okay. Hey, Carlos, you look different with, you, with your haircut. Sí, me lo corté usted, con, con dolor porque ya estaba en cargo. <risa> sí, me, sí. Se, ve, se ve diferente. <risa> no dicho, o sea, por temas de trabajo. Ya, yeah, I mean, actually, uh -huh. se ve más, sí. más, más, más joven así. ¿no? <risa> sí, imagínense, en lo que se fijan, yo, o sea, no, lo, lo, lo que importa es que hay trabajo, pues, pero ya ves. Muchas de las leyes. <laughs> no, man, that happens. Yeah, that happens. That happens. No, no es eso. Lo que pasa es que estoy aplicando tu trabajo, entonces. Ah. Uh -huh. yes, you know, you have to be very formal. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> exactly. I, I can tell, man. Okay. Anyways. Veronica, I'm going to start with you, man, since you are the first one in the line in here. Okay, I'm gonna put the presentation, I mean, the, 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 the conversation, I mean, in the manual. You work with Cindy, right? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, perfect. Here you have the, the, the conversation. You can start if you want. Okay. Comienza, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi Max, my name is Joe. I work I work for pets.com. Why re receive the new printer and I need help sending it up. Could you help me please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on I, I can you hold on a second please? Oh, it's an multiplayer in X theory. Okay, first make sure that the power core is flowing. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the men menu appears menu? on the screen. Click on complete install. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, Veronica. And uh, was it? Give me one second. I lost, I lost, I lost the page. Ay, perdidas. Aquí está. Okay. And see. Okay, cool. Thank you. To you both. Carlos, let's go, man. Who are you practicing with? With Ivania. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joey. I work for Pipscom. We're signing a new printer and I need help set it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on second place? Or oh, it's an ultra page MX story? Okay, and first make sure that the power course is plugged. All right. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation city is in the tray. And third, 
Once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. All right, okay. Ivania, uh, let's see the next one. That's Okay. Con Jorge Alberto. Perfect. Let's start. Comienza, Jorge. Okay. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pets.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joey. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an old pace and MX50. Okay. First, make sure that the power core is bludgeoning. All right. It is. Would you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the try and theater. Once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, cool. Thank you, Jorge and uh, Soila. Now, William. Hello, hello. Don't win. Ah. Okay. Empiece, o empiezo yo. Yo comienzo. Okay. Hello, this is Mac from the Tech Support. How can you I help me? Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for Pits.com. We received a new printer and I knew her selling it out. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joy. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's a unti page mere mid story. Okay. First, make sure the power core is low in. All right. It, it's called you tell me what I need to the next, please. Second, uh, checks that the installation CD in the tray and third, when the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Now, okay, click on complete install. Thank you, Wendy and William, Julio Cesar. All right, let's start, uh, man. Michelle. Good meeting. Mm -hmm. Ok, empiezo yo. Como sea, dale. Ok. Hello, this is Mac from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for Pix.com. We received the new printer and I, have, I need help setting set it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's a ulti paste and X30. Okay, first make sure that the power core is plugged in. All right. It is called you tell me what I need. Next, please. Second. Check that the installation CD is in the tray and sears when the menu appears on the screen. Click on complete install. Install. Okay, install. cool. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Leo. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jose, who are you practicing with? Yes. And uh, who were you practicing with? No me recuerdo el nombre de la señorita. No, no lo vi en, el, en la pantalla. Okay. 
Ok, cool, let's start. Ok, comienzo yo. Uh -huh. Hello, Thay is Matt from Thay's support. How can I help me you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, did some put the page MX 30. Okay, first. Make sure Okay, are you there? Hello? Jose, are you there? Sí, ahorita. Ah, okay. Uh, all right, it is cool you Tell me what is need to to do net, please. Second, check that the installation CD is in the try. And there's when the menu appears on the screen, click on complete stream. Install. Okay, thank you, Xiomara. And Jose, let me see who's next. Gilberto. Let's go, Mr. Hey, teacher. Right. You were practicing with Emmanuel, right? Yes. Okay, let's go. Hello, this is Matt yes, from Dead Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pix Kong. We re receive the new printer and I need help setting up. Would you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? U X and ulti page makes dirty. Okay. First. Make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right. It is cool to tell me what I need to do next, please. Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. Enter once the menu appears on the screen. Click on complete install. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Emanuel and Gilberto. Ok. Is somebody, is somebody missing? ¿Hay alguien que se me ha quedado? ¿Alguna pareja que se me ha quedado en no participar? Just let me know, please. Porque se me movieron las cuadrículas de acá de la pantalla. No, but I think you were the last pair, Gilberto and, and Emanuel. Ok, people. Look, let's remember, just, 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 just by, you know, finishing this class up, Remember, cool is mostly to ask, okay, formal questions. Cool lo podemos utilizar para formar eh, preguntas. Agresivo dice formales, okay, formal questions. To talk about what? To talk about, eh, as we were mentioning in the main topic, to talk about formal requests or polite requests. ¿Qué es una request? Recuerden, son solicitudes, right? Cuando nosotros pedimos algo de manera educada, por así decirlo, de manera bien, bien uh, formal. So, entonces, en esos casos utilizamos cool. Eh, mañana vamos a ver otro tema bastante interesante que es algo similar a cool, solo que mañana vamos a usar la forma del presente del verbo cool, que sería can. That would be like a very interesting class just related to this type of topics. 
you know, that we are discussing right now. Y para el viernes estaríamos culminando con el último contenido que vamos a tener. And then you're going to check, you know, like you're going to have a, a general review, basically, for uh, week number four. Yeah, week number four. So this is going to be like everything for tonight. I don't know if you have any question. No sé si tenemos alguna duda antes de pasar asistencia con respecto a este tema. Any doubts, any question? Everything is okay? No, okay, cool. I like that. So it means that everything is okay. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna pass the attendance list. Uh, but the way before you move in and before you go is Yomara. Are you there? Yes. Okay. Yomara, you're going to have the 10 minutes feedback. Okay. Today, please Thank stay you. with me after class. All right. Uh, Carlos Mauricio, he didn't show up today. Cindy Melanie. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Nice. Let's move. Elvi is not here. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Excellent. Gustavo Adolfo. No, not here. Okay. Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. Jose Antonio. Present. Very good. Jose Edgar. All right, he's there, right? Juan Emanuel. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. Let's leave. Let's leave. Give me one second. Uh, Julio Alberto. Present. Now, okay, perfect. Julio Cesar. Present. Very nice. Karen Beatriz is not here. Uh, Luis Gerardo is not here. Veronica Arely. Present. Very good. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, nice. William Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay. Good cool. night. All right, good night, mister. Uh, let me see, Xiomar Elizabeth. Present. Okay, nice. Luis Jonathan. Luis Jonathan, are you there? Mm, okay, I think he left. All right, Carlos Jose. Present teacher, good night. Okay, good night, mister. And the last person here, Soy La Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Good night, people. All right, let's remember by tomorrow we're gonna have like the last main topic from the from the whole week, and then on Friday it's gonna be feedback. Okay, entonces nos vemos mañana. Cuídense. Like have a wonderful night. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night everybody. Good night. Okay, so Mara. So we're gonna have the 10 minutes feedback, as I told you. Okay, eh, tenemos esta noche los 10 minutos de retroalimentación. Uh, give me one second. Hi, Edgar, are you there? All right, Edgar, we have ended up the class, mister. All right, let's, let's watch you tomorrow, okay? Okay, all right, cool. So, as I told you, Xiomara, básicamente, eh, vamos a comenzar con los 10 minutos de retroalimentación. Recuerde que esos 10 minutos básicamente son para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a las clases que hemos tenido esta clase o algo siempre relacionado con la plataforma. So, if you have questions, if you have doubts, this is the moment for you, you know, to ask.
Oye, ¿ves, cámara? No sé por qué me sacó esto, pero ya se sacó otra vez. Ah, ok. Ajá. Eso, básicamente, eh, estos son los 10 minutos en los cuales podemos eh, retroalimentar o podemos aclarar cualquier duda, como le mencionaba, que usted pueda tener con relación a las clases que hemos tenido, incluyendo esta clase. So, mm, I don't know if you have any questions, Omar. No, prácticamente no, teacher. No, really? Mm, yes. Todos los, todos los sí, temas sí, han, han, han quedado claro. súper claros. Sí, sí. Mm, ok. Sí, está claro. Ah, me alegro de escuchar eso. Ok. Uh, with the platform. ¿Cómo vamos con lo de la plataforma? He terminado hasta la tarea de hoy. Solo me falta la de mañana y la de viernes. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Eh, tomamos en cuenta también, ¿verdad? Que tenemos el examen final. Ese sí, es el también, tipo que va a ser sí. el... Supongo que lo va a hacer el viernes. ¿O me equivoco? Sí, o mañana. O mañana, sí. Oh, sí ok, ya. Yeah, mañana. Ok, perfecto. Mm -hmm. You can do it tomorrow. Right, with no problem. Very good. Uh, with, the, with today's topic, everything is okay. Con el tema de esta noche, eh, ¿quedó todo entendido? Mm. Sí, sí, yo, sí, lo entendí, lo comprendí, lo entendí y... Pero que sí, ese, bueno, en, hay una razón donde yo le dije que se me podían prestar el carro, pero no estaba segura si tenía que usar el verbo borrow o hay otro. Porque sí, si bueno. no mal recuerdo, el, ese verbo se ocupa solo como para eh, referirse a dinero, a prestar dinero. No, no, no necesariamente. Usted puede, preguntar, puede pedir prestado uh, usando ese verbo con cualquier otra cosa. ¿sí? Con ah. tal se refiere a prestar no necesariamente tiene que ser dinero. Va, por ejemplo, le voy a mandar una palabra en el chat. Esta es otra palabra, ¿no? Lend. Ajá, es similar, sí, lend. Que es igual que borrow. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre lend y borrow? Va, por ejemplo, borrow es cuando usted solicita algo, cuando usted presta algo, ¿ok? Y lend es básicamente cuando a usted le dan lo, lo que usted ha solicitado como presta. Ah, es como regresarlo. Eh, ¿Se está regresando? No, es como prestarlo. Vaya, por ejemplo, vaya. supongamos que yo le digo, Xiomara, can you, lend, eh, can, you borrow, oh, can you let me borrow one dollar? ¿Podría prestarme un dólar? Uso uh -huh. borrow, ¿verdad? Y sí. usted me puede decir, here you have, aquí tiene. Entonces, usted, you are lending the money. Entonces, usted me está prestando el dinero. Entonces, ese, ese, esa acción de que usted está haciendo, que usted me está prestando, se le conoce ah, como lend. Ya entendí. Ajá, borrow, pedir prestado. Lend, dar prestado. Sí, lo voy a Yes. That would be the only thing. Sí, me no comprendí. Uh -huh. Esa era mi duda, me quedé así como que ah. no sé si lo dije bien. Ah, ok. Entonces, cuando usted va a un banco, usted eh, hace un préstamo. Entonces usted pide prestado. So, en ese caso, cuando usted va, va a mencionar la palabra borrow. Ok. Uh -huh. Allá, si ellos le hacen el préstamo y le dan, ellos van a usar la palabra lend. Lend. Sí, Because they tenía. lend you the money. Exacto. Y a eso de préstamo, ¿cómo se le dice? Préstamo. Mm. No se le sé. dice. Se le dice así, loan. Loan. No. Exacto, le das préstamo. No. Eso sí ya es cuando se refiere a, you know, like money, cuando se refiere a dinero. Ah, no, sí, loan. Uh -huh. no, también no sé lo puede si usar, no. ajá. Vaya, en preguntas con borro podría también usar este verbo, miren. Por ejemplo, Could you let me borrow your car? ¿Podrías prestarme tu carro? Podría ser de esta manera también, mire. Could you let me borrow your car? Mm. Ok. Eh, aquí ya, ya es un poquito más formal, por así decirlo. Sí. Let me. Exacto. Pero puedo decir también, could you give me? 
Hola. Puedo decir también, could you give me? Exactly, exactly. Give me. Solo, solo que ahí ya no está prestando, sino que está pidiendo. Ajá, por ah, ejemplo, sí, sí. Ajá, por ejemplo, si yo le digo, eh, Xiomara, could you give me one dollar? Ah, Xiomara, ¿podría darme o podría regalarme un dólar? So you see, en ese caso, y ahí ya no estamos prestando, estamos pidiendo. Okay. Ah, which is going to be different. Y ahí la acción ya es un poco diferente, ¿sí? sí. Exactly. No sé si hay alguna pregunta adicional, Xiomara, something, something like this, que pueda tal vez, tener algún... ¿Algo de duda? Considero que no, sí. Que no tengo claro los temas. No, ok, perfecto. Me agrada escuchar eso de que todos los temas están, you know, like clear for you, que han estado claros para usted. That is excellent. Es excelente. Entonces... Si no hay ninguna otra pregunta eh, que agregar, ah, bueno, <ríe> it's time to sleep, Xiomara. <ríe> ya es hora de dormir. <ríe> ok. Sí. A ver, right, Xiomara. Ah, ya no le quito entonces más su tiempo. Gracias por, por, por haberse quedado este par de minutos después de la clase. Good thing. You know, like, uh, clarific uh, aclarando cualquier duda, right? Uh, so, Xiomara, let's see you tomorrow, ok? In the ok in the yeah prior you know, the last one video conference okay thank to you okay good night okay. Good bye night. bye all right bye so we have ended up the presentation with this in the video conference see you in the next time <laughs>